Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you a card <coughs> Sorry. similar to this one. This is a 5x7 and this card is for one of my daughters for their birthday. I also have three daughters but two of them, their birthdays are in September. The 4th and the 13th. This one is for the 4th of September. My middle daughter. She'll be 43. Oh my god. I know. So, I am going to do this all the same but in our A6 size. The flower, though, I have cut off. I've already stamped it and cut it out. But I've cut off the branch and the leaf. Oh, here's the branch. Don't know why I kept it, but I cut it off. And I might, I'm not 100% sure, place this leaf somewhere else. I don't know. I might do, I might not. We'll see. But we've got this to colour in. I have cut all the papers out ready. So you've got a white card base of 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Oh no. 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths. Scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, and burnished. A piece of mossy meadow at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of the designer series paper that goes with the Good Morning Magnolia. I can't remember the name of it. Let's have a look. I've got some of it, so oh, don't want that one. DSP. It is called Magnolia Lane Designer Series Paper. So I've got one piece. This was three and seven eighths down to start with, by three and three quarters. Um. But then once you cut off the pattern at the bottom, it will give you obviously a smaller base. And I also had a piece of, um, what's this, mossy meadow, and this was two inches by three and three quarters. And I cut them out holding them both together. So I've cut them both out the both at the same time and I'm just drawing up I do it that way you can see it drawing it up to give a border of mossy meadow. I also have another piece of the designer series paper and this bit is two and three quarters by three and three quarters and that will go on like that sort of sort of self out when I glue it down. Now the sentiment obviously I don't want to make another daughter card. I am just going to put happy birthday and use the pretty label punch and punch a label out. And the happy birthday is coming from um, my favourite one of all times. Happy birthday, sky's the limit. A really really old one, but I'm not getting rid of it because I do like that happy birthday. But saying that, there is a beginner's set out where you can get a smaller magnolia. It's not in the catalogue. It is an extra leaflet. Now I don't know the number. I know, it's on my phone as I took a picture of it. Photos. Uh, right, the stamp set. I didn't take a picture of the actual stamp. The number is one five two seven two nine. Catalogue number. It's thirteen pound. 
It is a smaller magnolia and there is also a happy birthday. Um, I think there's only about five or seven stamps in it. I can't remember. I don't have the leaflets because I don't have customers. I don't see why I should pay out for these leaflets just to throw in the bin. Um, if I get it, I will show you it. For those who can't afford the £33 for the big magnolia because that is a lot of money. But, uh, yeah. Keep an eye. There are some demonstrators who have got the smaller one. Um, which look nice on these A6 cards. I can't even remember what it's called, I don't think. Oh, it's called the Magnolia Blooms Stamp Set. So, yeah. Just another promotion stamping up, bringing up to get people to start stamping. So let's get started. Let's colour our flower in first. So I've got my blends in front of me. We'll do the leaves first. And as always, I do them in uh, Old Olive. And this nib of this pen is driving me mad. I don't know why they can't come up with better nibs like they have on their marker pens. I don't know why, because I want to keep you to keep buying pens when they run out. Trouble is, the nibs run out before the ink runs out. colour this one in. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but just in case. Oh. Mossy Meadow Light. I am just going to go up the middle with this. Not going right to the edge. And then with the bullet end, just draw a line under each petal. Just to give you a bit of shadow where the petals laying on top of the leaf. Uh, 
and then with the dark petal pink just go up a little bit on your petals not a lot just the at the base of each petal just go up a bit oh, this one and then where it's folded over color them in in the dark there's four of them that's it and then with the light just go up a little bit more and up the lines blending in that dark bit where you can That I missed a bit of the leaf out. And that will sit on there somehow. But we'll figure that out once we stick it all down. Right now. Oh, I haven't stamped the sentiment. Never mind, we'll do that in a minute. Right, I'm sticking this on this small piece of green, Mossy Meadow. Leaving a nice one eighth of an inch border. You can see that. And then I'm going to stick this on my mossy meadow. I should have stuck this bit down first. this on the card base now this flower I am going to stick like that oh, I don't know whether to needs to go on dimensionals but this doesn't so I am just going to stick that down like that
one hour later right and we'll just pop that like that there right to do the sentiment I have a scrap of white I have my stamp and I have my ink and I'm just going to stamp that right in the middle like that and with my pretty label punch I'm going to punch that out. Making sure it's sitting straight. Right. Don't need that no more. And that we will pop on there. On dimensionals. We just want some gold gems. Right, I have started placing um, a spot of glue where these gems go because I keep knocking them off before I get them into the plastic protector bags. like that. I didn't do inside. What have I put in there? Wishing you a most beautiful day. I might find that stamp and stamp that in. I think it's one of my own. It's not a stamping up one. So I should do that off camera. I hope you like that. Similar. Little different. But the layout's the same. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you um, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more uh, videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.